guess this has ended up being a series on reviving a pair of old boots bought on eBay. So these are a pair of old Doc Martens, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I picked them up for, I think, $30 shipped. So $30 including shipping. They were in rough shape. They're still kind of in rough shape, but uh, I started off, I did some Saphir Renovateur, and it helped a fair amount, but didn't, didn't fix it. Um, then I used some Saphir Dubbin, which I think is about as good as there is for moisturizing purposes. Uh, put some of that on the inside on some bad marks and put it on some uh, marks on the outside and and I mean they're real moisturized right now but they're there's still um, there's still spots that have no color so um, I used I used the barkeeper's friend on the threads here my preferred stuff to use so you can see now I did another video but it's all dry now you can see that how good the the yellow looks after using the barkeepers friend so now I'm about to get started on using some green wax I could be using some more saphir this is their dark green number 20. Uh, their top of the line cream slash wax. And I'm not going to make it a long video. I'm not going to show me waxing the whole entire boot because I don't think anybody wants to really see that. But just saying what I'm doing, um, I'm going to get started on it and at some point soon maybe halfway through this boot maybe all the way through one of the boots I'll just turn it off and we'll have a future video that'll show what these look like afterwards see if see if it did the trick that's this one's the one that's in the worst shape I thought maybe that was some uh, something caked on or some dirt or something but that's actually in the leather so that hasn't come off with anything that I've done the saddle soap anything so that'll be a focus uh, that'll be a focus too so just picked a random washcloth started on the worst one here. Two circles. Try to stay even. Try to keep it off the sole, but we can get it off of that if that's what ends up happening. Uh, sometimes you want to move the rag around while you're using it, but these boots are cleaner than clean, so I'm not going to have any dirt contaminating anything, so I'll just keep on using this same spot all the way through. I've got brushes, but I want to keep it away from the welt a lot better. So just spend some time working it all the way in and we'll probably do a second coat right after the first coat. And 
like I said in another video, $30 shipped. These will either end up being an incredible purchase and end up looking pretty new. Or it'll just be a really good purchase for a pair of boots to do whatever I want in without worrying about scuffing them up or anything else. It's a win no matter what at that price. It's so much better than what they're making today. I've got so many pairs of old Doc Martens that I'm sure I'm never going to be able to kill. It doesn't even seem like I really wear out the soles. No matter how much I wear them. And I bought some new ones that I can kill them in a year. Everything Everything about them sucks compared to the old stuff. The leather is nowhere near as good. The leather is thinner. Uh, they take all the grain out of it. They correct the whole thing so you really don't have any way of knowing whether it's crap or not until you get a year into it and they're dead. They're thinner. I've used micrometers on it, leather, leather thickness gauge. And you can tell they're considerably thinner as far as the leather. So they've kind of screwed the pooch on it as much as possible and they're really dead to me. Um, I'll buy solar bears now. But even the solar bears are Are not what they used to be. They're they're a hell of a lot better than the current Doc Martens. Solivares are worth buying, but even the Solivares are are thinner, thinner leather. Still put a shank in it. Their soles last a lot longer than current Doc Martens, but not as long as old Doc Martens. I tried playing around with the color, trying to match it, but honestly, it seems to match perfectly. It seems to be the exact same color since these are a, a darker, darker green than Doc Martens usually uses. Uh, darker green than even the darker one that Solivair has been using. Solivair has been using two different shades of green, the old-fashioned traditional one and uh, a darker one, but this is darker than both of those. It's a really nice shade. Uh, and this Saphir looks like it's a perfect match, so I'm expecting these to come out looking super, super good. But uh, I'll go ahead and turn this off. I imagine that it's it's not can't I can't make it into an ASMR video since there's not much noise going on in what I'm doing. No 
There's nothing exciting about watching me do any more of this. You've already gotten the idea. So I'm going to turn this off. I'll do one more video after all this is done so that you can see it and uh, do any final steps that I can see doing. I'm not sure that I can think of a final step. I've, I've done everything else. It'd be more just wetting down a cloth and getting the rest of that barkeeper's friend off of the bottom of the soles. Have a good day, and I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and this. I've got to figure out if I can sew this, or I don't know, maybe glue it. Something to try to get this tag back into shape. So, if I'm successful, I'll show you what I did to that, too. Have a good day, everyone.